Right, let's have a look at this uh, KBAT question for permutation. Right, the question says there are seven card labeled with the letter of Bestari, so we sh should expect we should we have some um, Bestari here B E S T A R I. So five cards are chosen at random to form a code. So find the number of codes that can be formed if at least three consonants are placed side by side. Okay, so over here we need to know how many consonants we have and how many vowels we have. Okay, so the vowel we have is E and then we have A and then we have T, right? So basically we have three vowel. Okay, so we have three vowel. For consonant we have B, we have S, we have T, we have R. So over here we should have four consonant. Okay, so right now the question says they want to uh, from here, from this bestari here, they want to select five letters to form certain chords or five cards to form certain chords. So they, they only want to choose five. They only want to choose five. But because it is the code, right? So we need to arrange it. We need to arrange it because it is the code. Okay, so this question is very um is very complicated compared to other question. Okay, so right now because it has four consonant, is there at least three consonant consonant, right? So right now I have two example. I have um two way of doing it. First is I will assume I the five letter code I have four consonant uh, over it. So that's mean. Let's say I I have five letter code right, and then I have four of them is consonant, 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 consonant. One is vowel. Okay, how I can arrange them if I have this one is four consonant. Later we want to do one more is for three consonant one. Okay, so for four consonant here, actually I can arrange all the four consonant, so it's just four factorial. Okay, however for the vowel, I have E, A and I, right? So three vowel here, I need to choose one over here. But because this vowel and consonant the on four consonant you can swap place, right? Because they must be side by side. So I will just group the four consonant together. Okay, so because they say at least three consonant are placed side by side, right? So four consonant are placed side by side is within the condition that one in it. So that's mean I still have a chance V first, then these three consonant, and uh, I mean these four consonant will be together in it. So the total of this case we will call arrange four factorial. Uh, arrange four consonant is four factorial, but because V and the four C, you can swap place, right? You can swap place among themselves, like what what we see here. So you need to time two. Okay, then the vowel we have three vowel here because this vowel is we not just one vowel. Supposedly we can put E here, A here, or I here, isn't it? So this one is multiply another three choice, or you can say it's three C one. Uh, basically from E A and I, you choose one vowel to insert into this. This are uh, four consonant case. Okay, so this is the total. Yeah, you just type in a calculator. I believe you should get uh, 144. Okay, so if, have, if four consonant is quite easy. Okay, what happened if you want to do for three consonant? Okay, because I just want to arrange three consonant side by side, but it doesn't mean the five letter over there, I cannot have four consonant. Okay, I show you one example. Let's say we have uh, we have something like consonant, consonant, consonant. Do you see three consonant arranged side by side? I put a vowel. I put a consonant here. Do you see in this five letter code here? I have four consonant also, but I only place three consonant side by side. Okay, so this is a tricky part because a lot of students will think uh, three consonant are side by side means they can only allow three consonant must be two vowel here, not necessary. So in this case, you just need to ensure you have three consonant, they will be side by side. Okay, so here we actually use all the four consonant, right? So it's still four factorial. That means these four consonant you can swap place among themselves. So this is how you get four factorial. But the one consonant and three consonant can swap place, isn't it? We can get something like C, vowel, and then triple C here, isn't it? Just, uh, three consonant will be here. So that means they can swap place here, isn't it? So we have two way times two here. 
the Volvo in in this example, uh, the Volvo must be in the middle. The vo if the Volvo go to the first place, then the four consonants will be together. So you, you imagine it. So therefore, the Volvo have no choice but at the middle. Okay, so the vo in this case, Volvo can be only at the middle. But this Volvo, we choose from the three Volvo here, isn't it? So it's three C1 or a three here. Okay, got it. So this one, you can type the calculator is 144. It's exactly the same with the top one. Okay, what if we only have three consonants with two Volvo? Volvo and Volvo. This one also consider three consonants arranged side by side, isn't it? So over here, you can see three of the card here. Because I group together, I assume one card, right? One, two, three. Three card, they can uh, arrange like whatever they, they, they want, isn't it? We call three factorial. And then these three consonant, I selected from four consonant here, and then I want to arrange the three consonant. We call what? We call four p three, isn't it? We multiply lah. Okay, so same idea to the Volvo. We have three Volvo here. We want to select two Volvo to arrange them. We call three p two. Okay, so the first three factorial means what? Means I can have v. C, 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 V. Oh, cannot. If I do like this, I actually, I accidentally repeated it. Because I can also something like V, V, C, 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 right? So I think there's only three way. This one should be only three way. Okay, because I, if I do three factorial, I accidentally already arranged the Volvo already, I, which is what I don't want to do. So here, the three here means I can arrange like this CCCVV or VCCCV or VVCCC. Okay, you only have uh, three three way of arrange the three consonant much side by side, right? Yep. So then we'll type this one in the calculator, which is three multiply four P3 multiply three P2. So you should have 432. Okay, so you kind of need to plus all the number here. Lah. So therefore, in these cases, the number, find the number of code that can, that can be formed, right? So therefore, it's 144 plus 144 plus 432. So the calculator will tell you is 720. Okay, so this one should be the final answer for this kind of uh, k-byte question. I hope you find this uh, short video useful to you, especially for this kind of k-byte question. Okay, if you can understand, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.